Hello again, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and this is the Bible Talk video blog. Today's blog entry is entitled Rock Throwing. The Old Testament law stated that in capital offenses, the primary witness was to cast the first stone at the point of execution. We read about this in Deuteronomy chapter 17, verse seven. In the story of the woman caught in adultery in John chapter eight, Jesus refers to this point of law when addressing the woman's accusers. However, he reverses the rules for this occasion. In verse seven he says, he who is without sin among you, let him be the first to throw a stone at her. In other words, he gave the right to begin the execution, not to the one who witnessed her sin, but to the one who could look at his own life and witness no sin there. John goes on to tell us that after these words, there was no execution on that day. This acknowledgement of personal sin is very helpful for those who have a, a critical nature. First of all, it forces critical people to see that finding fault with others is very easy. The difficult and worthy task is to examine ourselves in order to discover our own faults. Secondly, when we focus on our own faults, sins and weaknesses first, it becomes easier to offer mercy to others. After all, it is difficult to refuse to someone else the very thing we grant ourselves in the same situation. And finally, recognizing that all our sinners, including ourselves, will make it easier to leave the judging to God. When critical people understand that they have no right to judge because they are guilty of the same sins, a tremendous burden is lifted from their shoulders. So next time we see a person caught in adultery or any other kind of sin, we should remember Jesus' admonition to the execution squad. Let's be quicker to look into our own hearts rather than looking around for rocks to throw. Well, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and you've been watching the Bible Talk video blog. Hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.